Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how you can speed up your sluggish Windows operating system with some basic steps. Now we'll do an advanced video here uh, shortly. This is just a basic video for some of the beginners out there and then we'll do an advanced one which has got some registry tweaks and also uh, services and stuff like messing around with all that sort of setup. Okay, But this is your basic steps that you can take uh, to check to see why your system is running really slow. Now there is 101 different reasons for why your system is running slow. It could be failing hardware, dust on, in the system, overheating, all sorts of reasons. Now as long as all that's good and you know it's good, then you just want to make some changes. Maybe you've upgraded uh, to Windows 10 or wi another version of Windows and now it's really slow. You need to check some hardware, make sure you've got the right type of hardware to uh, sort that out. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So again, this is just a basic version. We will cover the more advanced in another video. So the first things you want to check though, if you have got problems, is you want to come down to the bottom of your taskbar here, right click and hit task manager. Open up your task manager and uh, once you've done that, so if, you, if you're looking at this version, what you want to do is click more details and this will open up this pane here. You can see here we've got processes and performance and this is where you can check all your performance okay for memory and also for your CPU depending on how much memory and CPU you've got or what type of CPU you've got you can see uh, what's being used. Now sometimes programs are very poorly designed that have memory leaks and stuff like that and they use up a lot of memory so you can check to see what's hogging all your memory and all your CPU. So if your CPU is running at 90 odd percent then that's the reason why it's a little bit slow and sluggish and also memory is starting to run out because all your programs may be use, using all your memory so you can check here to find out what it is okay and investigate further now obviously if it's a, a, a Windows uh, application there may be something wrong with your operating system and you can do checks to fix those issues but if it is a program that's doing it maybe it's a say for instance uh, Internet Explorer or or um, Google Chrome or something like that uh, maybe you've got a load of tabs open you've got about 13 pages open and that's the reason why all your memory is running out because you've got loads of windows open and you can see that here okay so that's a good place to start the next place you want to start is in your startup and all this is normally choked with programs loads of people install programs and they don't remove the uh, tick from uh, add to startup and of course eventually you end up with a big array of programs starting up and they wonder why their system is slow to start up. So you can see here there's nothing inside here but you would have loads inside here and you can right click on these and disable the ones you don't want to start up. You can see them down the bottom right hand corner here as well there'll be a ton of programs here as well. So check that area out that's a, a, an essential area and as I said this is a basic area but we will be covering about tweaking um, services which ones you can stop turn off and stuff like that in another video uh, which is a bit more advanced. So what we're going to do here is to close that off and the next area you want to do is we're going to go to uh, the start button here and we're going to type in control panel as soon as you put control and you put see panel here you can see control panel here you can either up, open up control panel and then you can go to system and security and then you want to come down to where it says system which is here and inside here uh, you can see advanced system settings you can also get to it uh, by doing this right clicking on the start button and going to system and this will open up the same uh, panel here so you want to go into advanced system settings here and here you can see all the memory that you've got installed as well and uh, and stuff like that which is useful if you don't know how much memory is on your system so we're going to go to advanced system uh, settings here and what we're going to go to next is in the advanced tab we're going to go to where it says performance so now we have our performance options visual effects uh, panel open what we can do here is make changes now you can see already it's selected let windows choose what's best for my computer now sometimes this isn't, isn't always the best choice so you can choose for best appearance so if you want to do that it'll put all the ticks in and also if you want to adjust for best performance it just removes everything so it's there's no sort of in between there what you can do is go back to custom here and choose what you want to do yourself 
because I think sometimes for best performance is a little bit aggressive if you don't mind that look um, I'll show you what it looks like anyway so as you can see here I'm going to apply an OK for best performance it just takes a lot of the color out and uh, shadows and stuff like that and, and you may find it let me just move this around you'll see the box here you may find it's just not what you want but it will it will uh, speed up a lot of that system if you're using an old type system so let me just go back into here and uh, we're gonna choose let windows choose for best performance and we're going to go into custom now if you did want to change these you can take some ticks out and just leave some of the stuff in that you want okay uh, depending how far you want to go with it so we're going to take that out under windows and we're going to remove so you can see here remove translucent uh, selection triangle I'm going to remove that and uh, you can just uh, do whatever you want to do here and you can see smooth edges and so on I'm just going to leave that as is but you can mess around with that if you want to um, to your own arts content and that will give you something uh, back and again if you remove this now you can see it's not as bad but you still get a bit of performance boost okay so the next area now we've applied that what we want to do here is we're going to go into your virtual memory so we're going to go back into performance here uh, and then we're going to go along to where it says advanced and inside here uh, you can see here um, processor uh, scheduling and it's for programs or background services depending what you want to uh, set that to yourself but also you can see here we have virtual memory settings now if you have got a lot of virtual memory or a lot of memory uh, say for instance 16 gigabytes or something of that nature you'll see here minimum allowed it's letting Windows manage this and and to be fair Windows doesn't manage it very well and you can turn it off if you wish so you just have to remove this tick now if you've got other drives here just concentrate on your C drive and uh, you can see here system uh, system manage size and you can see here as well now we're on a virtual machine here but if you've got 16 gigabytes you may want to try not no page file and set that okay like so but if you are on that type of uh, system where you want to just give it some you can uh, have a look at these settings here and it will say recommended and currently allocated and you can make changes now to do that you can go into custom as you can see here and you what you could do say for instance if this was the amount you've got I, I would look here and see what it is here and uh, what the recommended part is you can work it out yourself but generally we're just going to do say for instance this if you wanted to keep some instead of turning off no page file if you're having trouble so you could do this and then that would make a difference and then set that okay like so and then click OK and it must have a restart it's saying before it takes effect so that's what you can do there so we're going to come out of this and click OK and uh, once we've done that we're going to click OK and close this off I'm going to restart later on now again what you want to do here as well is we've got uh, say program called C cleaner and this is going to clear off any junk and crap on the system and uh, remove all that that's safe to use and it just gets rid of all that uh, junk files like temporary internet files history cookies and all that sort of stuff on the system and that's always a good thing to run as well now you can always if you don't want to use that and you can use disk cleanup so you just type disk in the search area down here and you'll see disk cleanup this is built into Windows you can use this and uh, this will get rid of a lot of uh, junk on there as well downloaded programs folder you can see there's nothing in there um, there's there's a few bits and pieces but not vast amounts because this is a virtual machine but yours may have loads of stuff in here that you want to get rid of okay now when you hit the clean up my system um, like so it's going to start calculating and it will do the Windows update cleanup as well and then it will rescan and you can see here we have more options and inside here you've got uh, programs and features 
and so on okay you can clean up all your system restore points and shadow copies as well inside here and this is another tool you can use but C cleaner does a lot of that for you in one fell swoop but either way you can do whatever way you want now the next thing we want to take a look at is browser extensions now browser extensions are a real big issue when it comes to surfing the web uh, so if you look at extensions you can come up to the top right hand corner here and click more tools and you'll see extensions now inside here you will have a list of extensions if you've got tons of extensions enabled uh, this can slow down the browser and slow down make it sound like the machine is running slow when it's actually your browser you can enable and disable uh, these or remove them completely by hitting this little uh, bin here and that's the same for any browser really tends to have a lot of uh, this sort of stuff added into uh, there as well so you can remove those another area to take a look at is the actual uh, disk space that you're using so we're going to take a look at this right now going to so if you look at the actual drive itself you'll see how full it is now if it's running in the red that's the reason why it's going to be uh, running slow sometimes having a drive maxed out and full up to the brim and it's all red then there's going to be an issue there you're going to have problems with that drive you may want to think about upgrading uh, your drive to a new drive so also we're going to, now normally uh, defragging is uh, done in the background nowadays but you can right click and go properties here and normally defragging is taken care of by windows and you can get access to tools here inside here you can check your disk for errors and also optimize it's called optimize um, but it's basically defragmentation of the drive now after a while drives do become fragmented and uh, that can slow up the process now um, this is a fresh install but normally this is taking care in the back end when you're not um, while well, you're using the computer but sometimes just giving it a little once every blue moon every three months say just giving it an analyze and then an opt optimize and defragging that drive can sometimes make a little bit of a difference okay um, but as for using other types of programs and stuff it's entirely up to you when you want to use those never use those registry cleaners they don't do what they say they do they don't speed up the process of the machine uh, they can do some more damage than good so be a bit careful there okay so the next thing we're going to cover is uninstalling programs and that's another thing if your drives full up you can always uninstall uh, programs and you can come to uninstall a program and if you've got lists of programs here stuff so clean it out once in a while uh, some general maintenance cleaning out these programs can help uh, get back some space on your drive and also uh, stop the slowing down process of your machine by having loads of programs running uh, as well depending on what they are okay so what we're going to talk about now is uh, the last bit which is SSDs now the SSD is probably the biggest and most best performance you're going to get from your computer if you've not known about SSDs or don't know where you've been living maybe under a rock somewhere but SSDs are so much faster than a normal standard mechanical drive and if you haven't got one of those installed then definitely get one of those uh, installed and put windows onto it it will absolutely fly it really well and you'll be surprised that the old system will have a new lease of life with an SSD drive in there okay and I'll, also another thing to take care of is memory how much memory have you got if you've got some extra slots in your board maybe consider upgrading some memory having more memory does help with uh, loads of other tasks so if you're running say for instance two gigs of memory four gigs of memory uh, you might want to start to think about getting up to say 8 gigs or 16 gigs of memory which will help uh, with some of the tasks that you're trying to do whether you're doing video editing and stuff like that or whatever it is that you're doing uh, that will give you some more memory uh, as a reserve there okay so again other than that you can also use other methods like uh, reinstalling windows and try to see whether that sorts out your problem if you've uh, got other issues after you've got a fresh install then there's something more sinister there okay so there's the basic steps of what you can do uh, to free up uh, uh, some space and get back some speed into your system it's a really basic step and guide so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos
If you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to my forums. The information's on the screen right now. So thanks again. Bye for now.